Mike, check, 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 Justin Hunt, it's all happening. The legendary Goody Mob recently celebrated 25 years of their certified rap classic, Soul Food. Released in 1995, the project received critical acclaim for its gritty social commentary and undeniable infectious production courtesy of Organized Noise. In every aspect, CeeLo, Cujo, Timo, and Big Gip are unquestionably integral in pushing the Dirty South to the forefront of hip hop. The project was certified gold back when the gold record was exponentially more difficult to achieve, creating super fans worldwide. Perhaps their most famous fan? Tupac Shakur. I had a conversation with Goody where they detailed how Pac wanted to join the mighty MOB. Take a listen. Like it was just, it was right before Suge came to get him out. And he was like, yo, if I had to spend the rest of my time when I get out, I'm coming to Atlanta and I want to be in Goody Mob. He had already moved his mom here. So, you know, him and being in Atlanta, this was like Pac's second home and people didn't know that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, LA was a certain way back then. It was gangster, gangster every day, every hour in LA back then. So, you know, when he wanted to take his chill pill, man, he jumped on the plane and came to Atlanta and hung out with Lisa Lopez. Got his mama a spot out there in Decatur, and shoot, that's when, you know, Pac was comfortable. And he told us that even that night when we saw him in the studio, that night he asked us to rap, and we were like, nah, but he showed us, like, the, the cover of the new album, and it was like him being in some overall and shit. He was like, yo, after I finish this with Death Row, I'm moving to Atlanta, and I'm starting this, this label. So it was always his plan to come to Atlanta. Man, file this one under one of the company man's all-time favorite what ifs. Right next to, what if Biggie had lived long enough to start the commission with Jay-Z? Just the sheer ramifications of how much more larger than life Pac could have been are mind-blowing. He'd already crafted classics out of New York, LA, the Bay at different points in his career. Just the thought of him stacking his legacy while representing the South only a few years before the South would go on to dominate the culture for the next couple of decades it's wild fun to think about. Now, I asked Goody if they've ever recorded a track with Pac. Here's why they said that didn't happen. No, because we knew the business. Yeah. We were sitting there, we were like, shit, we ain't gonna perform. We ain't about to do nothing, Pac. We already knew, like, sure, we weren't gonna deny. We, you know, the difference between us, I think everybody didn't realize back then that Goody Mama Outcast was on the R&B label. So, you know, they had freedoms and stuff, the way they did things in the gangster world, like it was just totally different. You know what I mean? I told people like, I joked with Mac, Mac 10, cause I told him, I said the first time we, we, we sat down with Mac 10, it was like doing a drug deal. Cause he had on like a bulletproof vest and it was guns <laughs> sitting there. With. So, you, <laughs> so it was like, he was like, that's how we did it out here, homie. You know what I mean? That was just LA then, you know? So that's what I mean. Like being in the studio with Pac, it was just dope to be around him and watch him do his thing. But you know, being in business with Death Row, we just knew that wasn't uh, that wasn't that wasn't the right thing for us at the time. Mm. Yeah, quick Queen of Phoenix, man, rest her soul, rest Pop. You know, she she knew how he loved us, and we spoke at Pop's memorial here after he passed. Mm -hmm. well, for real though, imagine if Death Row did better business. Jesus. Now, Goody Mob's 25-year re-release of Soul Food is currently available, as is their stellar new project, Survival Kit, which features Andre 3000, Big Boy, Chuck D, and a gaggle of must-listen tracks. We detailed that project in our recent conversation, which you can find currently on the channel. Easily one of my favorite listens of 2020. If you haven't heard Survival Kit, punch yourself in the face, like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Justin Hunt, and as always, it's all happening.